Although not traditionally known for its charting tools, in Word 2013, we have a whole raft of ability now to insert a chart into a Word document and edit that chart and customize that chart. So if we take a blank document and choose the insert ribbon, chart has its own option here on the illustrations group. When we click chart, we're then given a choice of chart types from column to line to pie, to bar, to area, to XY scatter, stock, surface, radar, and combo. Now, some of the chart types require specific types of data, such as the stock and the XY scatter, but the area, the pie, bar, the line, and the column, all quite easy to use with some simple amount of data. Now, even within any one of the main category types, such as column, there are then subtypes. So we have clustered column, stacked column, 100% stacked column, 3D clustered column, 3D stacked column, 3D 100% stacked column, and then a 3D column. So let's stick with the basic clustered column. So these are columns of data that will be displayed in your Word document. When we then say OK, we get the chart and it appears with some sample data. That sample data information is here, actually held in an embedded Excel file. If we don't want the sample data, which is highly unlikely, that we are going to think, oh, that's exactly what I want. Category 1, 2, 3, 4, series 1, 2, 3. Well, actually, what I want to map is some food types. So instead of series 1, 2, 3, I simply replace the title with meat, veg, and fish. And then the categories are under 18, adult, and retired. Now, I actually don't want category four, which isn't a problem. I simply select the row five that contains category four and press delete on the keyboard. And you'll see that it's removed from the chart. However, there is still a blank area here where it's trying to map it. The reason for that is because the highlighted area is still selected. I need to move in this selection by grabbing the corner and moving it in. So I move the data in and the labels have to be moved in as well. And you'll see we now only have three categories, under 18, adult and retired, but I still retain the three series, meat, veg, and fish. If I wanted to add another category, such as other, then that's not automatically added to the chart, and I would need to expand out this area. So I can expand that across, and we see that it then picks up other, but there's no mapping for it. There's nothing here. There's a space for the column, but nothing there because there are no numbers. So I then put my numbers in and we see that other appears. These numbers then can obviously be changed. And what happens is the graph realters its column sizes, making them relative to each other. So we can see the scale has responded. The bars have responded. They've gone up in height and down in height in relation to each other. And we have our graph with the correct labels and the correct legend. As easy as that. Once I've entered my data, I can close this little floating box here. And that takes me into the file to see my chart. Now I can add charts to a new document as we have here or to existing documents. If I have a look at my access manual that we're growing to love, I may wish to put a chart in here, just over here perhaps, that compares different database packages. Let's go. Insert, chart. Let's have a different type of chart. Let's go for a bar and a 3D bar, but I don't want stacked. 3D clustered bar. Okay. Now the graph appears. Very exciting. And the same sample data. So I would need to change that. Access, SQL Server, Oracle, my SQL, DBase. I've added an extra one in there. Now notice that when I add it in to the rows, the little imported embedded Excel option here actually expands the data section for me. How very nice. And I can see in the graph, my labels have appeared. And then across, we simply compare some sales from 2012 to 2013. I'm not interested in series three, so I drag that area in. And that brings in the labels and the data. So the series three is no longer needed. Select column D and delete. And then I simply change my data. So let's have some numbers in for DBase. 
actually those sales shouldn't be going up should be going down my sql oracle sql server and access and our little chart is then displayed so i've finished with the data i can then close to close the embedded excel and we see that the chart appears and it's just like any other objects that we've been dealing with whether it's a shape or an image i can resize so it's not as big and we can see by the wrapping that it's actually sat on the line but we can change that we know text wrapping square and then i can move the chart to be where i would like it to be notice we get the same guides as we've done previously so that way i can insert charts into existing documents and get the text to wrap around them so i insert a chart for exactly the same method whether it's in an existing file or in a new file it's all on the insert ribbon chart and then you're away you enter the sample data and you have your chart